Q Country 102.9, Troy O'Brien here, and I have head coach of the North Country Tigers, a semi-pro football team in the area, James Campo on the line here. James, how are you doing? Good, how are you? I'm doing really well, and I'm doing better now because we get to talk a little bit about some pro football. Semi-pro football, really the same atmosphere that you would expect from a football game, a very high level of competition. The North Country Tigers are new to the area. They've been in Potsdam just one season prior to this, going into their second season. And we've got uh, their opening game here at Potsdam High School's turf field, the Sandstone Bowl, June 2nd. You guys are playing the Upstate Predators. What are you looking forward to now that the season is getting started? We're looking forward to making a statement. We, uh, we've got our first year under our belt, and we're looking forward to forging ahead with wins and, and good, good football. Absolutely. So you, this is your second year. Your inaugural year is is kind of behind you. You've learned a little bit about the league. The league that you're in, the Northeastern Football Alliance, and as I mentioned before, is a semi-pro league, but there's a lot of good competition. You've got a lot of players on this team, 50 local players ranging all across the age board. What's the team chemistry like from new players and old players from returning from last season? The veterans actually lead the new guys. We have some really great new talent, but the veterans are the ones who lead them and let them know what to expect because it's a big jump. If these guys are coming from high school football, it's a big jump. It's a lot harder hitting, a lot faster. And the teams that we play, some of them, like the Upstate Predators, are AAA teams, and they have a lot more athletes to pick from. They have some better athletes, and it's a faster game. Yeah. So the veterans are able to tell the new guys this. So it's it's good that the veterans are really taking the new guys under their wing and showing them what it takes to play in this league. You mentioned the Upstate Predators. You'll be playing the Upstate Predators in your Sandstone Bowl this Saturday, June 2nd at 5 p.m. Last year, you played this team and you lost. Is there a certain revenge factor that you you what you said you wanted to make a statement? Right, it's, it's not really a revenge factor. We want to show everybody that we belong. We can belong in the AAA league. We can belong in the AA league. We want to show people we got beat last year. If we had to play 90% of the games we played last year for only a half, we would have won a bunch of games. But our problem last year was finishing the game. We only played one good half. Um, This team upstate is super fast. They are extremely fast. We've revamped our defense and revamped our defensive backfield to try to stop what hurt us last year. Awesome. So you learned a little bit last year because you came into the league. You were a new team. You knew kind of what to expect, but this year, a totally different outlook because now you can game plan for teams that you've seen before. And like you said, you, you've kind of got a better idea as to what you need to do to revamp your team. How have the off-season training programs been going thus far with the talent level that you've got on your roster right now? A lot of the guys start right after the season, but we get together starting in January and we do a weight room and we work out in the gym and as a group. So we've been going twice a week and down to one time a week uh, ever since January. So these guys by now are in the shape they need to be. Okay, so that means that Saturday, June 2nd, your Sandstone Bowl is definitely going to be a good event. People should come out. You can get your tickets right at the door. And what colors should we be wearing and what should we be cheering for the North Country Tigers? We will be in black, black and orange, of course. Yep. Some new decals to the helmets. We go by the players call ourselves NCT, standing for the North Country Tigers. And uh, they have a little chant they do on the uh, sideline. We have some excellent incoming music. Uh, We put on a pretty good show and pregame. So it's... uh, It's a sight to see. Yeah, awesome. I I know that I'm certainly going to be there. I actually will be singing the national anthem, both American and Canadian, and then I'm going to take my spot right in the front row. And if you can't make it out to June 2nd, uh, their really inaugural football game, their regular season home game is the week after June 9th at 7 p.m., where you will be playing the Ithaca Warriors. The Ithaca Warriors are a team that you've met before, and 
you lost some very, very close games. Now do you think that you might have the upper hand facing them again now that your team has had a whole season under their belt? That last loss against Ithaca, the last game of the season, it yes. was nothing nothing at the end of regulation. Yeah, went in the overtime and, and they we, ended up winning six to nothing. We had a chance to win it. Uh the quarterback, uh our quarterback Darren Arnold, he when the pile got off, he could see the goal line about six inches from his face when uh, everybody got off. That has really burnt him all off season. So, yeah, that one's going to be a big grudge match. Okay, so that game going to be June 9th, the regular season home opener, 7 p.m. You guys play at the Potsdam High School turf field, so everybody should go out there, get their tickets, get in the seats, get in the stands cheer for the North Country Tigers. If you want more information on the North Country Tigers and what they're trying to accomplish this season, you can go ahead and check out their Facebook page, North Country Tigers on Facebook. James, thanks so much for talking to me, and I wish you all the best going forward this season. All right, thank you.